Now that we know how to do an intersect extrusion, we're going to apply it to our uh, passenger, which is the file we just saved as O2. To do this, we're going to make a new sketch. Well, actually, first we're going to make a an axis visible here. So in our origin folder, in your browser bar, you have things like your X, your YZ plane, your XZ plane, XY plane, and then the axes that make up those planes. We want the Y axis to be visible. Now we're going to look at just the side of this and notice that I'm using uh, the part that'd be the longest side. I'm going to make a new sketch on here and it asks you to right click and use slice graphics so we can see inside of this and I want to see this line as well so I'm going to project the geometry of this line okay and then I want to sketch out something that looks reasonable for the shoulders of this piece so I'm going to use line again and sketch up all part way Let's see, it looks like they give us a dimension for this as 1.2. But now this looks funny, so I'm going to use my vertical constraint and choose the midpoint of this and the midpoint of this. So now this should be the exact same on either side because use the middle of the line. Switch your three point arc click on one point and then the other We're going to have it come all the way up to the top here and this is just where uh, your piece ends currently we're going to finish the sketch and do an intersect extrude we want to go both directions so it's out of both sides change the distance to all and make sure you select for the profile the top, the middle, and the bottom of your piece. And now we actually have some curvy looking shoulders on our passenger piece.